So hi guys and welcome to this new video. Uh, in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can uh, easily create an aim assist system for your grappling gun or grappling hook or whatever you have. Um, okay so in so we're going to use unity for this tutorial and I already have here a very basic scene and in this game here I'm using basically a, uh, two grappling guns. They're not really grapp grappling guns but they uh, they kind of are. I'm gonna be showing you real quick what this is about. As you can see, I'm using a two grappling guns actually, and you might have noticed that this game is actually from Attack on Titan. Uh, so as you can see, we have two grappling guns, and uh, I'm using a crosser to aim at the point where I want the grapple gun to uh, create the line, and then uh, throw myself into that point. Okay. Uh, now. The thing here is, it's quite difficult to aim at the objects in the world uh, unless the objects are pretty big. But if you have smaller objects, or let's say small cubes on the air, then that will be really really difficult to aim. It's very easy to do this actually. Uh, in, the, in my case, I'm using a ray cast, okay, to draw the uh, line, and then it's gonna detect the point with the with the ray cast line, okay. So let's open. Uh, Let's open our uh, grappling gun script or grappling hook or whatever you want to call it. Uh, you can pretty much use any script you want. It's not really, it doesn't really matter. Okay, now uh, let's go to the part where I actually draw the ray cast. Okay, for example, here, as you can see, I use I'm using a ray cast. Actually, this uh, it's not this one. Uh, this one. Okay, if I press down the hook key, which is my um, mouse button, left or right. I enjoy a basic ray cast, okay? And to actually draw, to actually implement an aim assist, all we have to do is use an actual sphere cast. Now what this is gonna do, it's not gonna draw a straight line, it's just gonna draw a line, and at the end of the line there's gonna be basically a sphere with a certain radius, okay? That's how it works, it's very easy. And basically when the sphere uh, hits the object, it's gonna detect the point where the sphere uh, collides with the game object, okay? And we can use this method to actually implement a sort of aim assist. Because if you think about it, with a sphere you can actually uh, aim to another point that's close to the game object. And then take that point and we can actually use that point as the uh, uh, grappling uh, point, okay? So you can just type sphere cast while you use the ray cast. And, we, and here we have to actually uh, give uh, as a parameter the radius of the sphere. Uh, now we can just store this into a variable and then change it in the inspector, let's say. And let's for example put a serialized field. And here we're gonna put the uh, actual aim assist size. So we can just say float uh, aim assist size, like that. And we can initialize to something like 10f and then maybe we'll change it later. Actually, gonna put one, and then uh, and then we can just scroll down where we have the ray cast, uh, well, the sphere cast actually, and we can uh, put this as as the second parameter. Okay, so we're gonna say aim assist size like that, and that's all we have to do. Now, if we, for example, uh, save and go into Unity, okay, so uh, make sure you don't have any errors and can just test this out okay so uh, let's say I am aiming at a point where it's not really uh, where I'm not actually hitting the object let's say for example here as you can see it's actually gonna um, hit the object okay because it's gonna detect the collision with the sphere that we actually draw with the sphere cast okay now this looks quite boring uh, I think it, we could improve this by actually drawing a sphere uh, with the point of impact and um, and this is gonna give us a cool effect uh, so we can actually see whether or not our sphere is colliding with the game object I think it's gonna give us a cool effect so why don't we try that so let's go uh, let's go back into the uh, editor the code and we can just go to the variables let's go for example under the aim assist size Let's add another serialized field and let's say game object. So we're gonna store a game object and we're gonna call it debug assist. 
and this is gonna store a game object for example a sphere or maybe you want to draw a, a cube or something and we're gonna store this here and we're gonna draw it with the point of impact so we can now scroll down and in the update we can actually use the same sphere cast here we can actually copy this and just put it there in the update and we can just say debug assist.transform.position is equal to uh, the point that we hit so here I'm calling it, I'm calling it raycast hit I'm actually gonna just call it hit okay is equal to the hit.transform.position actually we don't need to put here transform the position we have to just say hit the point it's as easy as that now let's go back into unity and here you can go to the player and just assign a actually it's not in the player but it's uh well we have to go to the grappling gun uh, here i'm using two grappling guns but it's the same if you're using one so don't worry about that so here we have the debug assist uh, game object and we can, what we can just do is just for example uh, create a new game object so i'm gonna create an empty I'm just gonna call the uh, debug I'm gonna call it I don't know, sphere assist okay and <clears throat> what we can just do is well first of all put it here kind of okay so we have it here and we're gonna um, inside of this we're gonna create a 3d object uh, sphere okay and <clears throat> actually this is quite big so we're gonna put it at 0.3 for example one uh, 0.2 actually Maybe we can put it 0 0.2 okay this looks fine then we can just go to the grappling gun and assign this game object sphere assist then to the right sphere assist and now if you try this out you can see that it actually um, draws uh, puts the sphere uh, where we actually uh, are where the sphere is actually colliding with the game object so you can see that it actually here um, it's moving okay now let's improve this a little bit more let's make it the sphere disappear where the sphere is not colliding with the game object now to do this is pretty easy for instance you can go to the await method for instance we can just uh, say debug assist dot set active false to first of all uh, disable the sphere then we can go uh, to the physics uh, sphere cast so if it's actually hitting the object we can set it to true and if it's not hitting the object we can just set it to false okay and that's all we have to do so we can just go back to unity and just test it out so as you can see when i get close to the uh, game object it's actually drawing the sphere and when i'm uh, aiming uh, when i'm not hitting the object with the sphere the the point is not gonna show the sphere there okay it's gonna disappear now here you can improve it in a lot of different ways for example here I am drawing a sprite instead of a sphere that's gonna directly look at the player and this looks really nice in my opinion and uh, and so you can even draw a square or a cube or whatever you want uh, it's up to you so yeah if you have any questions or if it doesn't work for you you have any problems you can just leave them down below and and that's it for today's video